Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, instead of something crazy pants and over the top, we are going to be doing this neutral office friendly look that's got a very kind of golden color palette to it, but everything is toned down. It's not on my any over the top crazy neons because what we want you to have is something that you could go to an interview with or you could go to prom in or you could meet your boyfriend's parents or if you're just, you know, you're going to work and you want to have something very professional, this is a really good, easy, professional look. And almost everything I'm going to use today is easily accessible, easily affordable drugstore products. But thank you for coming by again. I love you guys so, so, so much. And uh, stay tuned because I am so happy to have you here. Hold up. Freak out. We're going to have a moment. Did you guys know? Did you guys know that this is most likely, maybe not, I might have one more coming or two more coming. This is most likely the last video of February, which means that I need you guys to back it up, back, back, back it up, because there is still a giveaway going on. And this theme is very golden. And the giveaway is called the Golden Giveaway, because I'm giving away eyeshadows, lots of them, fun ones, palettes and singles and liners, and it just, and it's for you and maybe even a friend. I know, right? So pop back to that video, but for right now, stay tuned to this video because we're going to do this and it's easy and it's fun and you're going to watch me with glitter everywhere because I did glitter before neutral and that was a mistake. Just, just stay tuned. Stay tuned. Love you. So mama, I was going to do this video where like I did my base on my own and then like I talked about my eyes, but uh, I just wiped off with like a super glittery look. Maybe should have timed it so I did the super glittery look after the normal everyday look because um, now there's glitter fucking everywhere. Oh my God, it's the herpes of cosmetics and craft supplies. So um, there's gonna be some sparkle, but it's unintentional sparkle. However, I feel like I just bleed glitter, so like it might just be me. This, by the way, is the Maybelline Dream Cushion. I think it's fairly new from them. It's new for me. Um, love it. All of the love it. Also, I'm not like, I don't have pink eye or anything. I just had pink eyeliner on for the last video and couldn't get it to come off of my face. So, um, I'm a professional. Really. Sometimes. You don't judge me. I don't judge you. So this is gonna kind of be like what I wear to work. Like this is how I get ready in the morning, except you know, I'm wearing clothes. So, you know, it's not that kind of YouTube video. This is the Hard Candy Contour and Highlight Stick. I am throwing on a very light contour. I do not wear heavy contour to work because ain't nobody got time for that. And I'm just blending it in to fake the fact that I don't have cheekbones. Look at them, none of them, just squoosh, 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 squoosh. I actually have to like squoosh in to find them to figure out where to put my contour. It's looking a little muddy today. Maybe it's just reflecting the weather outside because it's kind of muddy outside. For those of you wondering what I do that I get ready for work, um, I am in sales and I work for a really cool company. I am in cell phone sales. I don't know where you are in the world, but there's really only so many options to work for. So I'm just going to tell you, I work for Verizon and they treat me very, very nicely, and they're totally okay with my purple hair and my situation. My manager is awesome about it. Every manager I've had with Verizon has been awesome about it. Um, they are fine with me going crazy pants on my makeup, but because I work for sales and I am in a conservative part of New England, I also do occasionally make an effort on days where we're going to be super busy to not be crazy and over the top because it does impact your sales. So, yes, I can be whoever I want to be, but um, 
You should also take into consideration be who your paycheck is going to help support when it matters. Because you can wear whatever you want to the grocery store, but when your employer is paying you to do a thing, if your look is going to impact that thing, you should maybe consider that. What is it they say when they're doing their contour line? Like, I gotta get snatched. But I was under the impression that snatch meant your uh, hoo-ha area. So I have refrained from using the phrase snatched when doing such things as baking because I don't want to look like my hoo-ha area. Not that she's not lovely and not that that's way more information than you guys needed. But um, it's just a word that I associate with stuff that is non-makeup related. We're gonna let that sit while we work on our pretty eyebrows. And with our pretty eyebrows, we are gonna be trying out something new. This is the Milani Eye Tech. They have a brow and a liner. And I'm gonna take this brow end, which has like a nice little chiseled tip on it. And we're gonna try this out on our brows. I normally use a brow gel, but it's been getting, cause it's so dry here, cause it's so cold that it's been getting kind of dried and like chunky looking at the end of the day, which is super not attractive. There's so much glitter. Why is there so much glitter? Like if there's glitter in your eyebrows, you can just be guaranteed that you're never gonna not have glitter in your eyebrows. So I have like made a glitter life choice. I like this color. It's really easy to use too. Like it feels like it's soft. It's got a soft but controlled feel to it. I am a fan. This is the color, by the way, um, black, to medi black with medium brown. So this is the medium brown brow and a black liner, which I kind of wish it had a brown liner too, but the liner's really nice, so I'm not gonna be bitchy about it. So I have my eyebrows filled in. This one got a little wild on me. This one usually gets a little wild on me. I thought I'm just gonna consider that my signature wild brow look. I like it to be soft and organic. If any of you have seen a previous video of mine that talks about when people say something that they fucked up is supposed to be messy and organic looking, you all know that I called the bullshit on that one. And I'm just using Wet n Wild's Creme Brulee. This is my blending shade. I'm just gonna cover my whole lid and brow up to the brow bone with this. I just picked up a brand new LA Colors palette today. This is the last one of their three set of 16 color eyeshadow palettes. This is sweet and it is all really soft neutrals, but I loved this like army camo green that was in here and it was, you know, $4 so I can handle. So I'm gonna pick up that army camo green. And I'm gonna bring this onto my mobile lid. Really softy, just kind of windshield wiper motioning it in there. Motioning. I am not having a good talking day. Anyone have those days, those days where you go to like talk and you're just like, oh, Om's an idiot. Om's, Om's an idiot. That is so pretty. Oh, it's like a camo, olivey, like cargo pants green. And it's so pretty. I feel like, what, what do they call them? The tumbler baddies, where they're like, boom, hat, boom, white skinny jeans. Who the fuck can wear white skinny jeans? That's not fair. If you can wear white skinny jeans, you're a beautiful human being and you should keep it up because I sure as shit can't. There's nothing about my skinny jeans that need them to be white to show off things that don't need to be shown off. Next color that I'm gonna be using is gonna be this greenish gold color right there. And I'm just gonna pop that on the inner corner of my eyes. And then I'm gonna pick up this K2 
camel color right here. I don't think I'm ever gonna be allowed to have my own eyeshadow because I'll wanna name them things. And there'll be some like marketing director for some big company and he's gonna be like, you can't name that camel toe. This one is the next one I'm using. By the way, I got distracted by camel toes. Right up under the brow bone. And then I'm going to take a blending brush and just blendy blendy all of this together. Rounded edges today, not sharp edges. Now using that same Milani pen, I'm gonna use the eyeliner side, which is black and a really fine, fine tipped felt. Oh, that's nice. Look at you, Milani. Okay. Hi. I am impressed. So much pigment is coming out of this little pen thing. And because you should never leave house without a wing, wingy wingy. This is really nice for like those flicky wings too. Like I love the flicky wing. Okay, let's get that excess powder off. Sticking with the army green theme, I'm using black olive. This is the NYX faux liner. And I'm going to do it fairly heavy on the outer corner of my waterline and then lighten the strokes as I work my way in so that I put more weight on the outside corner of my eye. For blush today, I'm going to be using the Styled by Harouche Tarte Collaboration Palette. This is Cheeky, that guy right there. Look, there you are. Filming on an iPhone like a pro. I'm gonna take that blush, tapping my brush into it, and I'm gonna do that higher. I find that really high blush up here has got a very sophisticated look to it. And you wanna match the angle to highlight, contour, blush. They're all in the same angle, and that's gonna keep things looking very cohesive. With my Carly Bible palette with BH Cosmetics, I'm gonna pick up this shade right here. You can use any warm toned highlight shade for this, but I just have this one and it's handy to me. So I'm gonna take that highlight and just tap it onto I'm using my finger, by the way, on this part of my upper lip because I want to have my really defined Cupid's bow really highlighted. And then I take my stipple brush here and just kind of make sure there's not a sharp line elsewhere. I put on some very light, very comfortable, like feather light lashes. Or you could just do mascara with this, honestly. Like if you're just not in the time for lashes or not in the mood for lashes, whip some mascara and you're good to go. I'm now gonna be using Hard Candies Galactica. This is a creamy, frosty nude. And over the top of this lip color, I'm going to be using Glisten Up. This is the Sizzle Gloss from CoverGirl's Smoochies. It is like the prettiest copper color. I don't know, can I make you, can I make this focus? Maybe, maybe not, okay. It's beautiful, you should totally go out and get it because it's cheap too. So this is my neutral professional look that you can wear to work, you can wear to school, you can wear to a job interview. The big thing about this is that everything is pretty much in the same color tones, which are nice, a nice um, fairly monochromatic look. Everything here is neutral. Even that little tiny pop of green that I have is fairly neutral. Now, as far as your hair goes with this, you can wear your hair up, you can wear your hair down. Um, Tyra Banks once said that like the most professional look you could ever like do for your hair is to twist it into a low bun at the base of your skull. And I will say like, this is just a really, sharp look with a neutral glistening kind of look. So 
Thank you for coming in. Thank you for hanging out with me. I love when you hang out with me. And if you try this look, I want you to put it on Instagram and I want you to tag me. I am broomstick88, just like I am here. I am so happy to have you here. Thank you for coming back. I love you guys. And I cannot wait to spend another beautiful year with you guys. Welcome 2017. We're gonna do this shit. Thank you.